Hi guys, welcome back to the React Chess video tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn that how we can pass the data from child to parent. It's very easy to pass the data from parent to child, but it's how we can pass the data, it's vice versa, means child to parent. So let's see with the code. So first of all, I'm just going to make a child component with the name of child.js and I'm just going to some code stuff here so just write import react from react right and uh, I have uh, react is capital actually right and now uh, just make a class and export it defaultly export default class name is youth child and it extends actually it's extend the react dot component <coughs> right and and here uh, we have to write the render function inside the render just return something and in the return I'm just going to write the two uh, first of all just take a div and after that I'm just going to take the two components one for the h3 tags for receiving the data you can take the any one tags whatever you want and another is the button and on this button click I'm just going to change the data for child parent component just uh, right here click right so I will be right here function on on click before that I am just going to pass data from parent to child so that uh, it can be directly hit here alright so I am just all I already have a state with the name of unit alright so I am just going to make a function and this function will be called by the child component so my function name is like change unit all right and it will accept a parameter like unit and uh, here we will call this dot set state and in this set state I am just going to change the unit and unit will be accept the just write an item so that you could not confuse with the unit and unit uh, just write a unit alright so after that I'm just going to call this child component inside my parent so first of all I'm just importing here import from yeah, from child alright so just use this child component here and in this child component I am just going to pass the data as in props and here we will pass some parameters like I am just going to pass the two parameters one uh, yes uh, so it will be going to an object so first is unit and unit will be the same unit this dot state dot unit and another thing is that function I'm just going to pass this function as an object alright so how can I do this for for that I'm just going to write here change function this is my props name like unit object key name and here I'm just going to write here this dot function name dot bind because we must need to bind this function with this all right so now the both keys will can be received here so I'm just going to write here simply this dot props dot data dot unit and let's see the output first of all then you can see that we got the kg here if I'm just going to comment this you are not able to see this alright so we got this so now we just have to call this function right which this which we pass as in props 
here so for that I am just going to write here on click just use an arrow function as we use normally and here we just write simply here as a function and I just have to use this dot props dot this function name and I can just pass this like child unit all right mm, unit so now let's see whenever I'm just going to click the data should be changed here here also because with this function on this click this function will be called from the parent component and in the parent component the data which is coming inside the parameter will be applied here in the unit and unit will be passed as a state here so this data will be automatically get change all right so whenever i'm just clicks oops it keeps some error so let's find out the errors here uh, i think i got the error because i have to put the data also here dot data because uh, we got the this function inside the data all right so now let's try it again and now you can see that we got the change here all right so let's say if i just pass something else here child unit applied or something else uh, on after click it will be going change here all right so this is the way that how you can pass the data from child to parent if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys